Hola, this is Tiffany Manchester, your personal feel-good specialist, and I'm here to give us our September angel messages. So I got, I was pulling my cards out this morning, and I usually get a picture in my mind of what deck the angels want me to use. And I was a little bit surprised they wanted me to use my Archangel Raphael healing deck. So Archangel Raphael is our healing angel. We call on him whenever we have a health issue, um, anything that has to do with health. He also helps with travel. So anytime I'm on a motorcycle, which is a lot around here in Nicaragua, um, or back in Hawaii even, anywhere we go and I'm on a motorcycle or I'm getting into a car, I invite Archangel Raphael to come watch over me. And I immediately feel a sense of peace. You know, it's interesting. I have a little bit of drama around riding motorcycles just because I think they're scary and a little bit dangerous. And I do have my motorcycle license, but, you know, I'm not a totally skilled driver. And so I know that it's not the safest Thing for me to do but that's my mode of transportation and so I've actually asked Archangel Raphael you know when I get on a motorcycle I'm like am I safe is this okay and I always get this overwhelming sense of you're fine you're meant to be on a motorcycle everything's gonna be okay as long as I take the necessary precautions and so I have that so I know it's my ego mind my fear that is that's pulling me away from feeling safe so just an interesting thing for me to share with you this morning randomly. I hope you're doing well. I'm headed back to Nicaragua. I'm sorry, I'm headed back to Hawaii in a couple of weeks. And there's our first card for the first part of the month. And I'm really looking forward to it, although I do love being here, of course. It's nice to have a change. So when we're um, when you're pulling cards, just remember that you have to take your time. The right card's going to come out and you're just going to feel what it is. Some people shuffle in different ways. This is how I shuffle. Oh, that one. Okay, so the middle of the month there. And again, we just la la la, have fun. There's nothing to rush through. Patience is always the key in everything we do. That's, I swear to God, that's my lifelong lesson. Patience. And I hate being patient, but I have to. Okay, so there's our three cards for the month. Let me just find a place to... Very precarious position right now. This is like the side of my barbecue. Okay, so let's see what the first card has. So this is like, uh, yeah, just the first part of the month for September. Have faith. Have faith. Let me just read this for you. Dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so that I may trust in miracles. Some people would think that this deck, is, you know, it's, it's vague, it's not concrete advice, but actually faith will take you a really long way. And I'm not talking like, you know, if you come from a religious background and maybe you don't like the religion you were raised in or whatever it is that you feel, faith is about... Faith is about trusting your inner guidance. That's where the faith, that's where we align with our truth. That's where we align with God, which is the source of energy of pure love and light. When we align with that place and have faith, then we're open to uh, getting out of our head and into our heart. When we're stuck in our head, we're, we're not really having faith because we think we have to control how everything is looking around us. When we have faith, we're releasing that need to control how things need to go, which means then we're more open to receiving opportunities or answers that are being given to us. And that's how we see miracles. It's our doing. We have to help create the miracles based on just being open to receiving other opportunities. Isn't that a nice one? That's really quick. I love that. And, and you're just, if you look at the card, you know, the Jesus is assisting this person. It reminds me of um, actually the scene that I'm writing in my book right now. So having faith, first part of the month. So if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now or frustrated, or actually I woke up this morning feeling a little bit frustrated and down on myself, and it comes back to instead of getting down on yourself and going down that spiraling downward pit of hell, you take yourself back up and just, okay, let's start again. Let's start again. And I'm going to have some faith today. So whatever you need to do in the first part of the month, if you're struggling with something, come back to faith. Of course, expect a miracle. So middle of the month, 
like I was just saying, when you, when you increase your level of faith, then you're opening to receiving different opportunities, and they come to you and they feel like miracles. That's the thing. Like A miracle is just a shift in your perception. It's not like all of a sudden you're being uh, like the universe is creating a specific thing and, it's like, and giving you a miracle. Miracles are something that can just be part of your day-to-day -day life, your, your flow in your life like 100% of the time. It just depends on how aligned you are with your truth. When you're aligned with your truth and you're doing what feels good, like I call it, follow the feel good, when you're doing the things that feel good to you, then you're going to start um, bringing miracles into your life because you are in alignment with it. So expect a miracle. The way to help expect a miracle, aside from having faith, is to start focusing on the things that you feel good about doing and start saying no to the things that don't feel good. Say yes to the things that feel good. Say no to the things that don't feel good. Sounds easy, and we probably do it 20% of the time, but I bet you that you and myself, although I've done a lot of practice on this, can give yourself a give yourself a break like way more of the time instead of feeling obligated to do stuff just say no just take care of you it'll help you come back to faith it'll help you to realign with your truth and then you'll start having more energy um, more focus you'll be a happier person and then that's when you'll start seeing miracles so it, it takes effort it really does so let's see now what we've gotten into the last part of September <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine. Ah, oh, isn't this a beautiful message? Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. So, I mean, this is, this is going to speak to every single one of us. We've all got our human drama. We all have our upsets. We all have our highs and our lows. And this is saying that we have to remember that that stuff in, it's all going to pass. Every drama we're going through right now, it's going to pass. It's temporary. That's the, that's the law of nature. And so if, but if you hang on to those little upsets, like I said, then you're going to spiral down and you're going to make those upsets in the drama deeper and deeper and deeper. And then it just becomes this vast pit of darkness. Am I painting a nice picture for you right now? We don't want to go there, right? We need to come out of that pit of darkness. And the way to do that is just... If you can't, if you're having a hard time working through a situation, just try to come and enjoy the fact that it's going to pass and try to get a laugh out of it. Just start by like, oh my God, I'm so dramatic. Instead of beating yourself up over something, just laugh at yourself. Just laugh at the experience because you know it's going to pass. I do this. I try to remind myself to do this all the time. I know when we're in a drama, the last thing we want to do is like look at it from a different perspective and think, oh, ha ha, how funny this is because it seems so serious in the moment. But just try this practice. And that comes with having faith. So you're going to start with building up that faith. Okay. At the beginning of the month, that's your practice at the beginning. Build up faith. When you start building the faith, then you're going to start expecting miracles. So you're going to be open-minded and you're going to be looking for little magical experiences, little synchronicities, little coincidences. Those are given to you by the universe because you're in alignment and we can call those miracles. And then because you're starting to have this habit of you're raising your vibration and you're experiencing all this joy, then when another drama comes to you, you're going to have the ability to laugh at it a little bit because you know it's going to change because you know it's being given to you for you to learn a lesson that's going to bring you closer to God, closer to yourself, closer to your truth. Maybe there's something you need to admit in that drama that you didn't want to previously, but now you can because you're going to let it go. So laugh, laugh it off. Just try to laugh it off. Whew. That was good. I really like that. that. makes me feel better already. Honestly, I woke up this morning feeling really, and, and I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, and I was feeling not really happy. And so I was like, okay, I got to do this video. And so just giving myself the opportunity to connect with the angels by pulling cards really helps to raise that vibration. So I hope that it's done the same thing for you this morning and today or whenever it is you're watching this. And I really do hope you practice these three lessons for you this month. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, email me. I love you guys so much. And um, please make a session, book a session with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm really enjoying giving sessions. I do them over the phone. In Nicaragua, I've been doing them in person. 
Um, but I'll be back in Hawaii soon. So if you're in Hawaii, feel free to come visit. Um, otherwise, on the phone. So I'll put a link in this video to go to the Work With Me page and I, you get a full on reading and we can dive deep into a challenge you're struggling with or maybe you just want a general reading and everyone that comes to me always feels light, more lighthearted and happier and more able to deal with their struggles because we see things in a new light. We have to come out of the darkness and start give things a new perspective and so the angels and I are going to help you to do that. I love you so much. And soon I will be in the land of Aloha. I'm looking forward to it. And I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay.